hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel so my name is Skelechi Augustino Korean I'm a Canva expert and also a business assistant so today I am going to be showing you how you can save your designs in such a way that when you upload it on any social media platform it's going to look sharp it's not going to come out blurry I know I've got quite a number of complaints that each time I upload my um, designs on social media, the quality always drops. How do I go about it? You're in luck because I'm going to be showing you the steps that I use. Not much, but um, it will be of help to you. Now, the first step, okay, is for those that um, are not using a pro account. If you're a free Canva user, this um, step is going to help you. Now, the first step, let's say you want to create an Instagram post, okay? You want to create a design with an Instagram post template. Now, the first thing you need to do, what you need to do rather, is to select the highest dimension. Now, the normal Instagram post, which is a square size, is 1080 by 1080. Now, if you want your designs to come out sharp, okay, you need to go for the highest the highest dimension for square shape which is 5000 by 5000 okay px all right 5000 by 5000 px is the highest dimension and when you use that dimension to create a design it's going to come out great okay it's not going to come out bloody when you upload it now that's the first step now, if it's not a squared shape, let's say um, a rectangle, you can use 5,000 by 4,000 or 5,000 by 3,500. Okay, I hope you got that part right. Use the highest dimension and your design is going to come out great when you upload it. Now, for um, the pro users, okay, you know that you can resize your design if you are a pro, a Canva pro user, but you cannot resize your design if you have a free account now let's go to it now let's say i want to download um this particular design okay now the size okay this is uh let's say okay let's say um this is now this is the normal 1080 by 1080 this is how it looks okay so the normal size for instagram post now there are two ways i can do this okay to make sure that my design comes out sharp when i upload it now the first thing i need to do is um i can either resize it to 5000 by 5000 here as you can see i can resize it to 5000 by 5000 px okay all i need to do is just click on resize and it's going to come out like this now it's no longer on 1080 by 1080 now it's on 5000 by 5000 so if i download it like this and upload it um, on any social media platform it's going to come out great that is another step that this is only if you have a pro account now the next um thing that you can do is when you want to download where is my download button i think it should be here so it's just okay if you want to download if you notice here we have the sizes okay and it's on number one now i can increase it when i increase it the quality also increases and um the file size also increases so now it's on 5000 by 5000 you know you can't go beyond this okay if you want to create a custom size you can't go beyond this normally now i can increase this to 1.5 it has changed to 7 7500 px increase it to um number two the highest is three so um if you download it like this the file size it's going to skyrocket like if it was supposed to be five megabytes for just a design it might get to 40. But if you have a lot of data to spare and you need the quality um, design when you upload it, you should go for something like this. And as you can see, 
um, this is 0 0.525 by 25. This is the normal one, 5,000 by 5,000. As I increase it, the size, okay, the dimension increases, dimension increases. So you can try this method. Let me take it back to um, Instagram post. Let's say resize and download. See, I can increase it, increase it, increase it, increase it. Okay, and it's going to come out great. Now, this is these are the steps that I've been using. And if you check all my designs, you can just go on, uh, just search for Kelechi A. Okore on Facebook, Kelechi A. Okore on Facebook, and check all my designs. The quality are always superb. Okay, this is what I've been doing, and uh, I know it's going to help somebody here. At least one person is going to benefit from this video tutorial. I am positive about that. Now, this is the end of this. Okay, this is the end of this video. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Okay, and also um, turn on post notifications. Turn on the notifications. Okay, so when I upload another video tutorial, you are going to be notified. Remember, um, subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram at klovehoster. Okay, just in case you need someone to create beautiful templates, okay, you need someone um, to create graphics for you, I am your guy. Okay, I'm just putting that word out in case you have been looking for someone. All right, and if you go to my Facebook page, you're still going to see a lot of positive comments from my clients. I'm going to stop here, okay, until see you next time.